Bumper, you always say Alabama's number one, and Sam Pittman just said he thinks that might be the best Alabama team he's ever seen. Just how, how big a challenge are they for you guys today? Yeah, I mean, that's a very good football team, like so well coached. Um, you know, I thought we did, uh, did some good things on defense, but with a team that talented, uh, they, can, they can spark that momentum so quick and um, get the score up. But, you know, credit to them. They did a really good job. How deflating was the punt return, you know, because I know that's not the de that's not on the defense, but like you say, you guys have played well, and then just like that, boom, you know, they, they respond. Yeah, it's a big uh, momentum shift, but, you know, that's, that's part of the game. Uh, we have to respond um, with, uh, you know, the adversity, and, I, you know, I, I thought we fought hard, and, um, you know, that kick was tough, but at the end of the day, it's football, and we got um, to bounce back, keep fighting. Thanks. Nikki. Yeah, Bumper, you guys had to play this game without Grant. And um, and then Hayden had the targeting call and had to leave the game. So <clears throat> just what was it like in there, you know, working with Andrew Parker after that and just, you know, the first half with, with Hayden? Yeah, I thought, uh, I thought it was like a linebacker group. We played well. You know, Hayden Henry played, played phenomenal. Um, you know, not having Grant was was obviously tough because he's such a big leader. Um, but this week, I tried to I tried to step up, and uh, you know, try to do some things that Grant does um, from the, like the leadership position, and was just so was so proud of Hayden and Andrew Parker. I mean, both those guys stepped in, hadn't really had uh, you know, ton of playing time, but uh, went in there and did a did a great job against a very good uh, Alabama team. Curtis. Hey, Bumper, you also had several guys play a, a larger role on the back end and Ladarius and uh, Nick Turner and some other guys. Can you just talk about what you saw from him and, and how they filled in today? I thought they did a good job. Uh, you know, we the scoreboard, um, it is what it is. And, you know, we have to we have to live with that because we did get, you know, uh, we did let that many points on the board. But I thought there was a lot of good uh, things that we did on defense, especially coming from last week. Uh, the back end, I thought, played, you know, very well. You know, I, I don't know. I don't think, um, you know, Matt got super hot. Uh, and, you know, testament to uh, our DBs, you know, really just putting in the work this week. I talked to you all last week saying that, you know, we got to get back to work. And that's what we did this week. And was very proud of them and, you know, all the guys that contributed. Trey. Hey, Bumper. Um, can I get your thoughts on the fact that you guys were able to complete 10 games this year? Obviously, some of them not as the schedule was laid out, but able to complete 10 games. And then obviously what's the mood in the locker room about potentially getting to go to a bowl game, something that hadn't happened in quite a while. Yeah, this season was probably the toughest just uh, mentally, you know, there's, there was so much uncertainty going into the season. You know, we didn't know if we were having a season um, middle of summer and, you know, for, for everything to work out and get to play 10 games, especially for the seniors, was amazing. I was, you know, I thought our coaches handled it, you know, just about perfect. Was so was so proud of their leadership, and uh, you know the steps that this team has taken from last year to this year has has been huge, especially with all the like the lost time that we've had. Um, you know, getting to go to a bowl game, uh, I'm I've never been, so for me that's that's so exciting, and I'm excited to you know continue to build on this something because I feel like we have something we have something rolling, and um, very excited about it. Bob? Yeah, but my question was, was about a bowl game. I think I read the other day where Boston College voted not to play in a bowl game. And I can understand guys who maybe it's been a long, tough season. They just are ready for it to end. But I didn't think that'd be your all's attitude. And you just said it wasn't. But even though it wouldn't be a normal bowl trip, it might just be a little more like a road game. Just how good would that be? And how good would the extra practice be, especially for the young guys? Yeah, I mean, I talked our street our strength coach about it. And he was like, you know, we can continue to build using these practices um, instead of just having that time off. It's just, it's huge for our, our growing program. Um, you know, we love playing football here. And if we have another opportunity to play, we want to play. And I think Coach Pickens kind of, you know, put that in our minds and you know, his leadership is, is the reason that, you know, the culture is changing and um, it's all, you know, credit to him. Bumper, I appreciate your time. Thank you very much. Thank you.